talk about the geo database. So geo database is a special type of the database that can handle like make queries or store uh, the spatial data. So geo database has been recently developed and also um, um, by S3. Okay, so a lot of products that we are using in geography like in ArcGIS or in GIS are developed by S3. Uh, so this type of the database that can support both vector data and also Rust data and also non-spatial data. Okay, so vector data, Rust data, and also non-spatial data. So the vector data and also Rust data like uh, spatial feature like lines, points, polygons, and also text information and also Rust data like JPEG and also TIFF. Uh, specifically, so there are several types of the geospatial data, uh, geo database. The first one is called personal geo database, um, which is actually based on access. Okay, so if we are using ArcMap, so which is the older version of ArcGIS, um, you can see that you can create a personal geo database which can be opened by access directly. Okay, so it's kind of the old uh, version of the geo database. The current version of the geo database is called file geo database, uh, which is no longer based on access, but still it is a, a type of the relational database. Okay, so this is also relational database. Um, that is a default database in ArcGIS Pro. So when we create, uh, if you, rem if you, I'm not sure if you notice that every time when we create a project in the ArcGIS Pro, I always point out see that a geo database has been created for us for that project, and that is a file geo database, and that is also a relational database. Um, it only allows single user to edit or to access that geo database. So, for example, when you create a project in ArcGIS Pro and you have a geo database, and if you want to allow other user to access your geo database, and you cannot do that. Okay. So, if you want to allow multiple users to edit or to access your data simultaneously, and you need the enterprise geo database. Okay, and um, that is also a relational database, one type of relational database. Okay, um, by default, ArcGIS Pro creates the file geo database. Okay, uh, so let's look at the most common um, vector file format. Uh, the most common one is called shapefile, and this week uh, we will download shapefile from US Census data. So shapefile is developed by S3 to store the spatial information and also non-spatial information. Okay, so shapefile was this developed by S3 to store the spatial information and, and also non-spatial information. This is the mostly widely used vector data file. Okay, um, the second type is called coverage. Okay, the coverage is also developed by S3 and that support multiple layers like line, polygon, polygons, and also annotations. Okay, and also coverage also can store the uh, topological information. So topological information means that if two lines, two polygons, they are neighbors to each other. So those information that is called topological information. And coverage is also a kind of the old um, format. So uh, normally I, I don't I don't see that we are using that one a lot nowadays. Okay, so that is coverage. You may also see DXF or DWG, those vector file format. Um, and that is not very common in GRS, but if you're like if you're in the uh, ask the, the students a folks in engineer, so they will use those type of the vector format a lot, which was developed by Autodesk. Okay, so especially if you know the AutoCAD, AutoCD, uh, then you will 
So when you create the vector files, so that is DXF or DWG. And you can also import those one into ArcGIS. So the last one that is also very commonly used is called TIN or TIN. So that is also a vector data type, but that support elevation. Okay. So TIN use continuous non-overlapping triangles to represent the elevation. So it, it is can be um, DM. So it can be converted from DM, so digital elevation model. So TIN. Uh, um, so that is also another uh, commonly used uh, vector data format. So that is normally to represent elevation. Okay, again, so shapefile is probably uh, the one that we are seeing a lot. The Rust file formats, so the most common ones are JPEG. So if you are using cell phone to, to take photos and also that is frequently used by digital cameras. Uh, the second one is called TIFF. So uh, TIFF is also very common when you want to print. Okay, so when you want to print something that out, and you you will choose TRFF because it can be saved in either uh, RGB uh, color spaces or CYM CMYT color spaces. Okay, so additive uh, or subtract subtractive sub subtractive color uh, spaces. We will talk about those two types of the color theories later this semester. So uh, RGB and C and YK. The last one that has been commonly used uh, nowadays is called PNG. So that is efficient uh, viewing that on the web browsers, okay, web-based browsers. Uh, keep in mind that those are the most commonly used uh, Rust data format. However, those data do not contain the spatial information. So those data itself does not, are not georeferenced. So you need to have a separate file to indicate the projections or to indicate the coordination systems, okay? So our textbook has more details. So, so, the, so if you just have a JPEG, uh, itself does not contain the spatial information. So uh, you need to have a project uh, project information that is normally a separate file, and that it will tell you so uh, which area this JPEG represent or, or is captured. Okay, uh, so let's look at how the data in ArcGIS Pro. So in ArcGIS Pro, so normally we have a working folder and we have this uh, file geodatabase. So every time when you create a, um, a project, so they will, they will uh, create this file database for you. So within the file database, uh, you can have those spatial features that we just talked like polygons, polylines, uh, points. So those can be shape file or those can be the spatial features, feature classes. Um, so feature classes, that means if that is within a geodatabase, so we call it uh, feature classes. So if you export those one outside of your geodatabase, then normally we save that one as a shape file. Okay. Um, and also you can have those uh, uh, Rust data, like the DEM and also the air photos. Okay. Uh, so in relational in the uh, file database, you can also have the data set. So data set is a kind like a folder or, or subfolder that within your database. So you can organize, you can put multiple features within a data set. So it, you can consider a, 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 a data set as a folder within your database. Okay, so you can have multiple features within that folder. Uh, here you can also have the, the other vector data like this one is created by uh, DWG, so that is uh, developed by Auto um, Adobe. Uh, and also you can have uh, individual shape files. Okay, so again, so if that outside the geodatabase, database, we normally save that as a shape file. 
uh, if you import that one into your geo database, so that you call the feature class. And we also have the team. Um, and also for the non-spatial data, you can uh, the most common one that in uh, in GRS is called the DBF. Okay, so deep based tables, so DBF, so that contains uh, the non-spatial data. Or you can ArcGIS also recognize Excel files. Okay, so like Excel uh, spreadsheet, so you can also import that one into ArcGIS. So in this week's lab, we're going to download a ship file and also uh, and also a CSV file. Okay, and CSV file, and we are drawing those two data together to enrich uh, our data. Okay, so talking about drawing, so uh, in GRS, drawing and also relate are slightly different uh, than that we talked in the relational database. So in ArcGIS, when we talk about drawing, we, we, we mean that we are appending information from one table into another table, okay? But still we are, we are using the based on the common column, okay, or the common field. However, when we're talking about join, we normally uh, mean that the join is suitable for one to many or one or one to one or many to one relationship. So that is for join. We also have a relate, okay? Uh, so relate means that we can temporarily associate two tables together based on the common field. However, those two tables are still physically separated. Okay, so they are still physically separated. And the relate is suitable for all types of the relationships, like one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one. Many-to-one and also one-to-many is just depending on the order that you are talking about the tables. Uh, and also many-to-many -many relationship. Okay, so keep in mind that in GRS, drawing and also relate are different from the drawing that we talked in the in the common in the normal uh, relational database. Okay, so they are slightly different. 